morning dear students and parents welcome back to ukg english language class in today's class we are going to learn how to answer a few questions so come let's begin number 1 who are running look at this picture children who can you see there are two children and what are they doing they are running you will also see on the board there are two children and both of them are running so you will write the children are running and then you need to use a full stop begin with a capital letter end with a full stop number 2 the picture is on the other side what can you see children you can see a boy the boy has something in his hand what does he have a ball and the question is what is the boy holding there is another picture here for you to see you will see this boy and you will see a ball in his hand so you will write the boy is holding a ball full stop come to the third question now look at this picture children you can see a few balloons and you need to count these balloons 1 2 3 4 and the question on the board is how many balloons are there here also there are a few balloons which you need to count 1 2 3 4 then you will write there are four balloons and then you need to use a full stop begin with a capital letter end with a full stop okay the next question now look at this picture children what do you see you see a flower and a butterfly and the question on the board is is there a butterfly on the flower here you will see a flower and you can also see a butterfly so you will write yes and then you, you need to use a comma there is and then a full stop children you need to practice these type of questions and answers next topic is match the following children you can see words in both the columns you need to match the words from the first column with the words in the second column so come let's start i will be showing you all a few pictures which will help you to match both the columns correctly the first word parrot in the a line you need to match parrot with one of these words which picture is this children yes a red beak so you have to match parrot with red beak which is a red beak which line this is red beak so you will write a next line b me which word will match with me what is this children this is fifth month you have to look out look out for fifth month in this column the first line is fifth month so you will write b next line tulip c what is tulip children tulip is a flower look a tulip is a beautiful flower so you need to look out for flower and match tulip so this is flower you will write c next line a year what is a year children you have learned there are 12 months in a year look at this 12 months a year has 12 months 
So you will match a year with 12 months. Where is 12 months ready children? Year 12 months. So you will write D. And the last word now. Locket. You will match locket with pocket. These are rhyming words. You will notice the first letter of both the words are different. And the remaining letters are the same. That means these are rhyming words. You will write E because locket and pocket match. A parrot, red beak, May, fifth month, tulip, flower, a year, 12 months, locket, pocket. Children, you all need to practice this at home. On to our next topic now. Make sentences. Children, I will show you a few pictures and objects which will help you to make meaningful sentences with these given words. So come let's start. First word on the board is marigold. What is marigold children? This is marigold. It is a flower. So you can write marigold is yellow in color or you can write marigold is a flower. I am writing marigold. is a flower. Marigold is a flower. Full stop. Begin with a capital letter. End your sentence with a full stop. The next word now. Clock. What is a clock children? Have you seen a clock? Yes. This is a clock. What does a clock tell us? The clock tells us the Time. So you can write this sentence. A clock tells us the time. A clock tells us the time. You can also write a clock is on the wall, a clock is on the table. You can write anything you wish. The next word, piece. What is piece? A bit of any object is a piece. So this is a piece of string. So you can write, this is a piece of string. And then use a Full stop at the end. Begin with a capital letter. End with a full stop. And the next word now is water. And what is water children? We all drink water. So I am showing you this glass. It is full of water. So you can write this is a glass of water. You can also write the water is cold. The water is hot. I am writing this is a glass of water. And then put a full stop. Begin with a capital letter. And the last word is bowl. What is a bowl children? Look here. This is a bowl. You can write this is a bowl of soup. Or you can write this is a big bowl. There is soup in the bowl. You can use any sentence. I am writing this is a bowl of soup. And then a full stop at the end of your sentence. Children, you will need to practice doing these sentences at home. Children, I am sure you all have understood all that you have learned in today's class. The worksheets related to these topics will be uploaded on your school website. Parents, please help your children to do their worksheets correctly. Thank you.